Hello YouTube, I'm Chin and this is my mum, Chu. Yes, we're back. What's up YouTube, welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. On this channel we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food at home as well as Malaysian Chinese street food and traditional Chinese food as well. That's fourth and fifth generation street food chefs. So, we know what we talk about. Today, what have we got mum? Today we're going to do a, a Jimmy, Jimmy Satay Roast Chicken. Someone sent us a, what's, that, what's her name? Ping Kung. Ping Kung sent us a recipe, so we're going to follow a recipe for you, you guys at home to watch. Well, actually, Jimmy um, themselves, the, the sauce we're going to use as a base, uh, the satay sauce as a base, Jimmy um, sent it to us. Um, Ping Kung's is their ambassador, and she won, I can't remember what year, I think it might be 2014, but she won Master Chefs. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. 2014. Yeah. I wasn't watching She's, Master Chef there. I know, you don't even like Master Chef, do you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna do this recipe for you guys, try it ourselves and see what it tastes like for you. Yeah, so thank you very much, uh, Ping, for this and Jimmy's. Very nice of you to send. We're not using the spatchcock chicken that was actually sent in the kit for us because it was sent to uh, our warehouse and I wasn't there for four days because I was training a chef. Uh, by the time I came and opened up, the box, the chicken had been sat in it's a box. It's already cooked. Yeah. <laughs> and for mating. <laughs> oh, can you imagine chicken wine? Oh no. No, yeah, oh no, oh no. So yeah, so that had to go. So we're using just a organic free range chicken today. Is it organic? Well, sort of a room to room. Oh no, it's free range. Is that free range? Yeah. <laughs> free range. Excuse my English. Free range. Free range. <laughs> That's better. That is better. That's my that's English almost, coming that's out That's the most Chinese I've heard you sound for years. <laughs> yeah, my English is getting like that. Even sometimes I talk to Dad. <laughs> really? Yeah. On a side note, we've been sent this wok and spatula. this spatula from Miko Life. I seasoned it. I did a quick Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, all the links are below uh, of me seasoning it and using it for the first time. I kid you not. I don't normally. We don't normally rate works, do we? No. Let's be honest. But this is once it's seasoned, it holds because it's so much thicker. It's handmade. I've got a link below. So if you want to buy one, they're below. They're not cheap. I will admit that. Honestly, so this is incredible because the steel is thicker. It holds the heat so much more on your domestic cooker which helps cook so much faster. Yes, it does. Um, so if you want one of these, by all means go and check that out. They, these Definitely. are really, really yeah, nice. Good, yes. Really nice. They just, it feels bespoke as well. Yes. And now we're gonna go to the cooking. Yeah, Mum? Yeah. Mum's concentrating on the cat. That's right. Yeah. yeah, we're going to get on with the cooking. Yeah. To roast that chicken. Roast the chicken. Ch yeah. Okay, so we've got the ingredients here. Um, this isn't our recipe, like I said, but we will go through it all with you. So it comes in two parts. You've got a, like a, a marinade, and then you've got a sauce that you put on halfway through cooking. So the marinade, you have one teaspoon of ground cumin, one and a half teaspoons of salt. If it was us, we'd be, probably use half MSG and half salt, but obviously there's no MSG in this. We've got a tablespoon of vegetable oil, a tablespoon of cassia sugar, and a tablespoon of ground turmeric. To finish that off, we have three tablespoons pride coconut milk. We normally use another one. We haven't tried pride actually, so this will be interesting to see what it tastes like. We might actually do a coconut tasting for chin and chew reviews, which will be quite good actually. Do you think, Mum? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So the second part is, so we've got two tablespoons of really good quality crunchy peanut butter, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of caster sugar, tablespoon of light soy. We're using the Gungi's light soy, available on our website. Jimmy Satay, again, available on our website. There are four tablespoons of Jimmy Satay sauce in here, and there are 350 grams of coconut milk and this again it's pride from the same tin so one tin did all of this recipe we've obviously got the chicken 
spatchcock is called for but again we we couldn't get that in our Tesco so we went for the free range and then you've got 150 milliliters of water and that's to make your sauce with at the end so what are we doing Emma? we're gonna cut this we're gonna uh, cut this chicken I'm gonna butterfly it yeah well we may cut it into half right there is this is a bird any of this bit you can just snip it off make it look trim it off look a little bit nicer you see this neck here just go right into here in your strong hand someone's going to get it someone's going to get it and then we're going to flatten it out yeah you just put your hand down yeah. you can buy them already done like this but we thought we'd show you just in case you've never used this or done this at home any chicken really normally we'd Cut boil off. these and put well not boil pour boiling water over the top of these and peel off the the skin the skin yeah because mum will eat them but you can't eat them with the skin on because they're quite tough but we're not going to do that today we're just going to cut them off i'll cut way. this little nugget off no the leg off so it will fit into the pan yeah yeah come like that and take off any bit of the hair that was not removed the bird is ready so we're just going to place that in the tray so we're just going to put the first lot of dry ingredients into the bowl with the vegetable oil and the coconut cream this is going to make a marinade it's going to bring that together so on that goes and the reason i got a glove on because this is going to get messy so far this all this smells of is really get that in there really get your hands in yeah get it marinate just the top part is it yeah oh well, we can marinate the end there as well turn it over Ooh. 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 can you ask it to stop spitting it's already <laughs> dead i don't know how this chicken comes alive yeah smell of coconut meal yeah. isn't it really want to get it in all those little gaps and I'm going to set that aside in the fridge for about 30 minutes so now I'm going to mix up these ingredients into a bowl and that goes on later stages but I'm going to mix it all up now in case you're wondering why I was wearing gloves it's because the turmeric will literally stain your hands I've got a yellow stain there but that's why I was wearing the uh, gloves so I'm just going to mix this up that's ready to fuse later okay so um the chicken has been set for half an hour now hasn't it? yes the chicken has been marinating for half an hour in the fridge we've taken it out and it's sat for 40 minutes to get to room temperature now the oven we're going to stick on 200 degrees and we're going to cook it skin side up for 30 minutes skin side up 30 minutes yes yeah. okay okay then do we have to flip it no oh okay just 30 minutes the, 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 then oh. <laughs> then we go then after 30 minutes oh, you, you pour then no, you pour the the sauce oh, on, the sauce on it. and then then you cook it for another 20 minutes and every 10 minutes from then uh. you baste it oh is it cool. yeah <laughs> okay yeah yes. is that all right with you yes we're good yeah yeah well is this a bit technical for you is it well no <laughs> It's weird, it's, because it's not our recipe, we're having to refer it, like everything comes out of our, just out of our heads normally. So it's easy for us to go along. Oh, and I had to change my top. I did have hashtag MSG Massive on, and all of you anti-MSGs. The links are below if, if you want to question me, um, that's fine. Yeah, we're going to put the, the chicken into the oven and get it cooking. Yeah. And see the end result. Super. We'll see you later. Yes, we will. <laughs> I forgot what we were doing then. Yeah, we can keep on rolling for just waiting for that chicken to go, isn't it? Yeah. So every this... when it comes to timeout, you see us jumping in again. Hopping I... in, hopping out. I don't know what on earth you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to uh, the cooking. We just wanted to say as well, we cut the chicken this way. Normally it's cut the other way. But we cut it this way because we think it keeps the chicken breast moister. But, I mean, it you swings around about you however you yeah. want it. Yes, there's no no rule how you want to cut it isn't it yeah right so now so this has been in for half an hour we're going to pour it in well pour the sauce over this is what it says so over it goes and it's going to go back in for 20 minutes but every 10 minutes we're basting it i'm going to get all this out now back in the oven so this has just come out the oven i'm going to baste it in the sauce as per instructions it's going to go in for another 10 minutes and then i'm going to check the core temperature with a probe the probes that we use are in the links below in the amazon affiliate link so if you want one of those go and click on them yeah we'll pull it back in if it's not up to temperature it has to be over 74 degrees just making sure every part of it is covered back into the oven for another 10 minutes so i've just probed the chicken it's up to 77 degrees now we're going to do the 
making the sauce. Right, we are going to make the sauce. Yeah, we are going to make the sauce. Okay, so we've got the gas on. We're going to add the water to this and place it on the heat to make our gravy. Chicken should sit for about 15 minutes. I'm going to put tin foil around the chicken now. Looking good in them. Yes. Are you excited about trying this? Yeah, I am actually. You want to be careful because this can be hot. I've got um, chef hands, so. Have you got slurry to Slurry? Yeah. No, I haven't. It doesn't say to use any thickening agent. Oh, is it? No. Just let boy residue it. Yeah. I can smell the coconut. Coconut and the jimmies I can smell. And we're just going to reduce this down a little bit. I'm not sure if this is kits you can buy. Do you know? We were just saying, yeah. you might be able to buy the kit. I'm not sure. If you go on Jimmy's, Sat I'll put the links below. Jimmy Saturday's Instagram, they've got loads of stuff, recipes on there. Yeah, I'm not sure where you can pick one of those up, but we are going to do our own version of this, aren't we? Not that this is going to be bad and we think, oh, this is better. It's just that we want to show variations of how you can use this Jimmy stuff. Pour very well with it. Yeah, we could do a pork version Thin instead. Pork, yeah. We've been thickening this for about four minutes. Yeah another three or four minutes and it'll be ready to use as a gravy i reckon quite a little way it's like the volcano isn't it yeah a delicious volcano right <laughs> yeah the chicken get a bit hot then it's that thick enough or yeah, a little bit thicker cooking, yeah. quick tip if you're not used to cooking never use a damp cloth to hold something hot because it will burn through really quickly maybe the way it's just a tiny bit longer darken it up a bit so we're going to pour this over the chicken and now we're going to try the recipe. Right, so this is a style format that me and mum normally have for when we do reviews. We sit down, eat the food. Jimmy's is incredible. I promote it constantly. It's honestly the best stuff. You can put it in everything, really. We sell it on our website, chinandchew.com. Also, um, we have a cookery book there. For, that's a Chinese takeaway stuff, so. Chinese takeaway cooking book. And we've served it like we would have it in Malaysia, or Brunei specifically, where mum's from. We put chilies on. Do you know what's hot is in uh, Malay? Badass. <laughs> I refuse to put that on my menus because you get children, well I say children, grown adults who can't act like grown ups because they read it they go, oh look, that's badass, <laughs> haven't heard that Bad thousand <laughs> times. And also another one is, I always, I always put duck and I don't put the Malay word for um, duck because that's a idip, it sounds like idip. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to get some soy. Looking forward to trying Yeah, it. me too. Go on, after you. Yeah. We both like the... Uh, like the look of that chicken. Yeah. Cooking instructions were perfect, by the way, Ping. Sauce looks nice. Mmm. Nice and thick. Mmm. You still can taste the satay quite strongly, isn't it? It's heavy on the coconut. When you have it with the rice, opens it up you need to have it with um Something else, steamed though. rice yeah god cool, that's lovely with the rice yeah isn't it mum was ready to tear this apart as well mm. personally i think it could have if it's like a, a, a boxing and it's for simple cooking this is really good mm. i would have subbed out the well, no, I would have kept the garlic powder, but added extra fresh garlic for sure. Mm. But it's good. Yeah. A bit more sugar. Yeah, a lot no. more sugar. So there is like sweet, sweet, manis. Sweet, in, um, sweet, right. sweeters, isn't it? Mm -hmm. mm. It's good. We have our relatives who've got oh, yeah. a satay stall. They don't put coconut in their their satay, but like this is really good, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I rate that quite a lot. Yeah. I'll be 100% honest. I'll cook it again. Yeah. Quite easy to follow, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And do you know that's a massive compliment coming from them? I think one time you do the recipe, the second time you don't need to. Yeah, the, the, we were filming this, and it's taken us the longest to yeah. film because it's not our recipe. I am genuinely shocked at how good that is. Mm. I mean, like I said, there are things that we would do differently, but that's just because cooking is subjective, isn't it? Yeah. So I'd, give, I'd give this a good, like, 8 out of 10. Probably higher actually. The cooler it gets, the more flavour there is as well. Yeah, it's good to share, isn't it? Yeah. What? what why did you say that? I, did you hear what I said? What? I said the cooler it gets, 
the more flavour there is. Oh yeah. And you went, yeah, it's good to share. Yeah. Even when you can eat it, it's cold. Yeah, it's lovely. So thank you very much, um, Jimmy and Ping. Ping for sending this to us. Oh, I'm gonna... I'm not even sorry. Yeah. Really juicy, this chicken. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Well done, Tesco's for the chicken. Mm. Oh, I'm paying for the um, cooking instructions. We're gonna do our own version of this, using Jimmy's. It's not even our version of this, it's just a different version. Yeah. A different, a different recipe. It's nothing like this. <laughs> but we wanted to like, show you how we would use a Jimmy at home for ourselves. But this is, honestly, I, this is gonna be, this is equally as good as what we'd make. Yes. And we're really fussy when it comes to Southeast Asian food because we really do know what we're talking about. We do it on um, barbecue as well. Oh. If you could finish this on a barbecue, that'd be great. Yeah. So, there we go. I'm gonna continue eating this even though I shouldn't because I'm working out at the moment and trying to lose some weight. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Mum? Hit the like button. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Yeah. We'll see you again soon. Yeah. Happy cooking, happy eating. There it is. Nice one, Mum, you nailed that. And thank you very much, Ping and Jimmy's for sending this to us. It's genuinely good. Mm. I mean, she's a cook, so we don't have to slave for it, isn't it? Yeah, so we don't have to worry about making the recipe after we're bored. <laughs>